right you are welcome again we are still treating the composition of partial fraction so let's take this question decompose into partial fraction x squared plus 10x minus 36 all over x your upper bracket x minus 3 close bracket raised to power 2 okay so let's go we are going to have or we're going to split this into two hmm? we're going to have a all over x plus b all over x minus 3 plus c all over x minus 3 squared this is how it's going to look like okay good now from here we're going to say let's multiply through by x over bracket x minus 3 squared let's multiply everything the left hand side the right hand side by x upper bracket x minus 3 close your bracket raised to power 2 so when we do so we're gonna have something that looks like this okay so let's go on our left hand side we can see that x upper bracket x minus 3 close your bracket squared we cancel x upper bracket x minus 3 close your bracket squared so we'll be left with x squared plus 10x minus 36 on the left hand side now we move to the right hand side on a side x will cancel x so we'll be left with a and then x minus 3 squared so we move to b side x minus 3 we cancel one of the x minus 3 squared okay good on c side x minus 3 squared we cancel x minus 3 squared okay so after our cancellation we have the following values remaining x squared plus 10 x minus 36 equal to a upper bracket x minus 3 close bracket raised to power 2 plus b upper bracket x close bracket x minus 3 in bracket plus cx is that correct yes we have the following remaining now from here what can we do let's go we're gonna say let's set one of the factors x is equal to zero that means anywhere in this our expression above anywhere we see x we're gonna replace it with zero so when we do so we're gonna have zero square plus 10 upper bracket 0 minus 36 equal to a upper bracket 0 minus 3 close bracket squared plus b upper bracket 0 open another 0 minus 3 in bracket plus c upper bracket 0 close it all right so we're going to see that 0 squared is equal to 0 plus 10 times 0 0 minus 36 so on the left hand side we have minus 36 so we have on b side we have b times 0 0 times 0 minus 3 equal to 0 everything on b is 0 then we have on c c times 0 is 0 so on a side we have 0 minus 3 is equal to minus 3 then we have squared okay so minus 3 squared is equal to 9 9 times a is a so we have 9a plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 9a so we have minus 36 is equal to 9a we are looking for a let's divide both sides by 9 so we have minus 36 divided by 9 is equal to 9a divided by 9 so a is equal to minus 4 that is when you say minus 36 divided by 9 is equal to minus 4. All right. Okay, let's go. In one of the other factor, we're also going to set it equal to 0. So we have setting x minus 3 to 0. We're going to have x is equal to 3. In our expression also, wherever we see x, we're going to equate it or replace it with 0. So in our expression, we have in our expression, we are having x squared plus 10x minus 36, all right? So let's equate it. We are going to have 3 squared plus 10 open bracket 3, close bracket minus 36 equal to a, open bracket 3 minus 3, close bracket 
rest of power 2 plus b open bracket 3 close it open another 3 minus 3 close it plus c open bracket 3 okay good now 3 squared is equal to 9 plus 10 times 3 is 30 minus 36 equal to on a side when we say 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 0 squared 0 0 times 8 0 on b we have 3 minus 3 0 0 times 3 0 0 uh, times b 0 okay so on b side we have 3 minus 3 0 0 times 3 0 0 times b 0 so everything 0 on b all right then we have c 3 times c equal to 3c now 3c plus 0 3c plus 0 3c okay so we have 9 plus 30 minus 36 9 plus 30 minus 36 is going to give us 3 so we have 3 is equal to 3c so we are looking for c let's divide both sides by 3 so we have 3 divided by 3 is equal to 3c divided by 3 so c is equal to 1 so we have found our a to be minus 4 and then b equal to 1 the remaining b how are we going to find b so we are going to use a method called comparing the coefficient to obtain b all right now let's go in our expression we are having x squared plus 10x minus 36 equal to a over bracket x minus 3 in bracket raised to power 2 plus b x in bracket x minus 3 in bracket plus c x in bracket all right here let's expand let's expand everything so in expanding we are having s square plus 10 x minus 36 equal to so these are x minus 3 squared is going to give us s squared minus 6 s plus 9 hello s minus 3 squared is going to give us s squared minus 6 s plus 9 all right good then we have plus x times x is x squared and then x times minus 3 is minus 3 x then we have plus cx so let's go let's expand further we have x squared plus 10 x minus 36 equal to let's use a and open the bracket a times x squared is a x squared a times minus 6 x is equal to minus 6 a x a times 9 equal to 9 a then we have plus let's also use b and multiply we have b times x squared is equal to b x squared b times minus 3x is equal to minus 3bx then we have plus cx okay now here let's arrange it based on their number of degrees based on their number of degrees now let me show you what i'm trying to say we're gonna have x squared plus 10x minus 36 equal to we have a x squared plus is there another one that has squared okay yeah we have b x squared okay now let's bring it we're gonna have plus b x squared another one that have b that have x squared no so now let's go to x now we have minus 6 a x another one that has x yes we have minus 3 b x another one that has x yes we have plus c x another one that has x no we have plus 9 a all right good now in this place we have a s squared plus b s squared let's factor out x squared so when we factor out x squared we're going to have a plus b in bracket s squared plus in this place also let's factor out x so when we factor out x we're going to be left with minus 6 a minus 3 b plus c in bracket x then we have plus 9 a okay plus 9 a all right now let's go comparing the coefficients we have F, uh, factors or terms on the left hand side and we have terms also on a right hand side so comparing them we have x squared here right on the left hand side and then the coefficient of x squared in the left hand side is equal to one the coefficient of x squared on a right hand side is 
a plus b comparing them we're going to say a plus b is equal to one hello comparing them they are coefficient we're going to say a plus b is equal to one all right let's go let's go to x x on the left hand side the coefficient is equal to 10 and then the x on the right hand side the coefficient is equal to minus 6a minus 3b plus c okay so equating them we're going to have minus 6a minus 3b plus c is equal to 10 all right good also comparing the coefficient again we have x raised to power 0 on the left hand side x raised to power 0 is what the coefficient of x raised to power 0 is minus 36 on the left hand side now on the right hand side x raised to power 0 the coefficient is 9a okay so we, are, we can say 9a is equal to minus 36 so from here we can divide both sides by 9 divide both sides by 9 so we're going to obtain what F minus 4 okay good but we already have our a yeah 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 it's true we already have our a now but what we are looking for is b so which one are we going to pick let's pick the second equation that's a minus 6a minus 3b plus c is equal to 10 where we have gotten our a to be minus 4 gotten our c to be minus 1 let's replace now we're going to have minus 6 in place of a we have minus 4 minus 3 b plus in place of c 1 equal to 10 okay so let's minus 6 times minus 4 going to give us 24 then we have 24 minus 3b plus 1 equal to 10 so let's take 24 and then 1 to the other side so 24 plus 1 is 25 let's take it to the other side and it's going to be minus 25 so we have minus 3b equal to 10 minus 25 all right hope you know how we got this minus 25 right it is 24 plus 1 on the left hand side so when we transfer it to this side it will be minus 25 okay so we, when we say 10 minus 25 it's going to give us minus 15 so we have minus 3b is equal to minus 15 so we are looking for b let's divide both sides by minus 3 so minus 3b divided by minus 3 is equal to minus 15 divided by minus 3 so we're going to have minus 15 divided by minus 3 is equal to 5 so therefore b is equal to 5 so we have found our a to be minus 4 b 5 and then c equal to 1 now let's replace it in our initial so in our initial we have s square plus 10 x minus 36 all over x Upper bracket x minus 3 close it raised to power 2 equal to a all over x plus b all over x minus 3 plus c all over x minus 3 in bracket raised to power 2 so we have found our value for a b and c so let's replace it so we're going to have minus 4 all over x plus 5 all over x minus 3 plus 1 all over x minus 3 in bracket raised to power two all right thank you very much let's take more example for better understanding all right thank you please don't forget if you have not subscribed please do us a favor and click the subscribe button now